Yo, today we're going to take a look at a review of the Legend Rondé Barber. With the Raider React Kim up to tier 3, he can get to 96 zone, which I believe makes him the highest zone corner in the game right now. He goes for around a million coins and I have him to compare to the other best corner in the game, the Legends Mel Blount. But we'll talk about Mel Blount a little bit later. So what surprised me the most about Rondé Barber was how well he was able to stop the run. Now I'm pretty sure this was frustrating for my opponents, but he was able to shed tight ends and linemen when it came to stopping a run, which shouldn't happen in real life, but hey, it's, it's in Madden and it helped me, so I'll take it. He was a pretty secure tackler and he was able to react to the run pretty well. Obviously the big trucking backs like LeGarrette Blunt and Jordan Howard would be able to truck him, but for what it's worth, he was very solid. Now in man coverage, he was able to guard and cover most of the basic cup routes posts, slants, some in routes, some comeback routes he was able to guard very well. But he had trouble against compressed sets, which I think most other corners will do as well. Especially when it came to like these motion slants and motion drags, you can see he got toasted there, even though the, the player was right in front of his face. And then against just basic drags from a compressed set, I think most corners are going to have troubles in those sets, and Rondé Barber didn't show any kind of superiority in those man coverage in the compressed sets. Now this is actually the legit first play and coverage that he had for me after I announced to the stream that he had it. The first play that I had Rondé Barber with in zone coverage, he got a pick six and that was dope. It's like an immediate impact. And as you would expect, he has 96 zones, so no matter what you think the threshold is, whether it's 91, 95, he's going to be able to cross it once he gets to tier three read and react. And you might as well not even throw it to his side, no matter what kind of coverage he is. He's locked down. He's going to react to post routes. He's going to react to slants, drags, outs, corners. Anything that comes to his side in any kind of zone that you have on his half of the field, he's going to zoom over and get it picked off. It's honestly kind of like a cheat code. And this is one I got earlier today in a game that I had in head, online head-to-head. -head. He's just he's just so reactive, and he has great hands. You don't have to click on to him like you kind of do with Richard Sherman and some of the other corners who have bad catching. He's going to catch pretty much every single pick that comes his way as long as he's in bumped or hit. He's fine in deep coverage. He can cover any part of the field, deep, middle, or uh, short. He can cover man if you get him in the right set. You don't want him playing man and compress set. But I honestly have no complaints about this Rondé Barber. He's clearly one of the best corners in the game. The other competition is that Mel Blount. And the reason why I say Mel Blount is a competition because he's a better against the run with the great, better hit power and block shed. And he's taller, so he's probably more effective in zone coverage and man coverage. But it's up to the debate. I haven't tried that Mel Blount yet. Another thing about this Rondé Barber, he got the craziest animation when it came to interceptions and slapping the ball out of the opponent's hand. All in all, he's the best corner in the game. I wouldn't pay a million for him, but I can understand why people do. That's it for this video. Peace.